tea. This is my favorite thing to drink um, for like morning teas. I do love a good matcha, but when it comes to like other teas for like caffeine, I think Earl Grey is the best. I like to use two Earl Greys with a splash of oat milk and maple syrup. It's like the most divine vibe. I would highly recommend you try that. And um, so I'm excited to share what I eat in the day again because I've been cooking basically all my meals from home. I haven't really been eating out. And it's been doing wonders for my body, mind, and spirit because I'm the one who's like putting all the energy into it. So that's good energy. And the meals I'm making are really good for me, super healthy. I've been making it a mission to make sure I'm getting all the nutrients that I need to get. So I'm taking my vitamins in the morning and I'm eating a lot of whole foods. And um, it's just been doing really good for me, like for my mental health and just the way my body feels and how I think is overall just doing me really good just to make all my meals from home. I'm excited to share what I've been eating lately and I am gonna like try some new recipes today. And downstairs, um, I have my quinoa cooking and I'm about to make this salad. I know that sounds weird to eat a salad in the morning, but this salad is really good. It's like the thing I crave first thing in the morning and it's just so good. So I'm gonna share that recipe with you guys, so yeah. So good. Such a good cozy, especially since it's fall now, like drinking hot tea in the morning is just the way to go. I've been like taking a huge break from um, coffee because it gives me anxiety and I love the way coffee tastes, but it gives me anxiety. And so I don't want anxiety. So I'm drinking tea now to have my caffeine fix. I only drink coffee when I got like some crazy to do like, oh my gosh, I need to get out of bed. But yeah. Okay, so this has been like my breakfast salad for a while now. So in a huge mixing bowl that I usually use for baking, I am putting in some organic kale. I am then drizzling in some extra virgin olive oil. I'm using one clove of garlic that I chopped up, and then I am using half of a lemon for the juice. I find that the lemon juice really brightens up the flavors of the salad. I am then seasoning it with some salt, pepper, and some cayenne pepper. It's up to you if you wanna add this cayenne pepper to it because it makes it spicy, but get creative with what spices that you like. And then I am massaging my kale. Fun fact, I used to work at Chopped, and this is what we would have to do. We would just put in the spices and massage it in to really soften it and make it brighter. And then I'm adding in some pine nuts. I love pine nuts right now. They're so yummy. And then I'm adding in some quinoa. I love making quinoa like this because then I can have it for the rest of the week, and all I have to do is just marinate my kale in the morning, and then I have this wonderful jam-packed of nutrition salad for breakfast. And yes, I did not make up my bed this morning. You can see me here just getting some Buffy the Vampire Slayer on and enjoying my salad in bed. We all have to have those mornings sometimes. It makes me feel like a kid. <laughs> For lunch, I am making a moussaka, which is basically a Greek lasagna. I've never made this dish before, let alone try it before filming this video. So you guys are just going through this journey with me. So as you can see, I am chopping up a couple of red potatoes and an eggplant. And a fun fact, I did not like to eat eggplant growing up because do you guys remember that episode of Curse of Cowardly Dog where there was like an eggplant monster? I was like, ew, not made me want to eat it. It looked really gross. But as an adult, it's really delicious. In a skillet, I am frying up my potatoes. I'm not cooking it all the way. I'm just lightly frying them because they're going to cook the rest in the oven. And then I'm also doing the same thing to the eggplant. A fun fact, it's actually really good to cook your food in a skillet because it puts more iron in your food. And as vegans, we need our iron. And then I'm seasoning it with some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. I also did the same thing to the potatoes. You gotta season every layer as you cook, you guys. It's key. And then I chopped up some bello mushrooms and also I chopped up some onion and some garlic. In the same skillet, I'm adding in some extra virgin olive oil and then I'm also adding in 
the onion and the garlic and then I'm frying that until it gets translucent. I'm then adding in the bella mushrooms and then I just kind of give a quick stir around and then I'm making room for my protein option. I added in um, the Beyond Burger and some sausage. It's up to you what you would like to add for your protein. You can add in more lentils or some more mushrooms or whatever alternative that you would like for this part. I then continue to give this a quick stir around and then I add it in the spices. This combination of spices are super new for me, but it was really delicious. Like it gave it a really warm fall flavor. I then added in the tomato sauce and then I also added in a bay leaf and just kept stirring that around and let it simmer for a while until I felt like it was done. In a blender, I essentially made this bachamel cheese sauce made out of cashews. I'm going to link down the recipe below. I then added a little bit of that to the meat mixture to really stiffen it up because I added like a vegan egg to it basically. Yay! So I finally got all of the ingredients ready to prepare this Greek lasagna, aka moussaka. So I put some extra virgin olive oil at the bottom of the skillet and then I am putting in a layer of the red potatoes and then I add in a layer of the eggplant then I put the meat mixture and then I put the bachamel sauce on top. So the reason why I was inspired to make this dish that I've never had before was because I was watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. And there was an episode where Buffy's um, watcher named Giles was making a moussaka and he was like, Buffy, you want some moussaka? And she was like, do I want some mousse? Uh-uh. He said, then I Googled what a moussaka was. And I was like super happy to find out what the ingredients were because I just bought an eggplant and I had no idea what to do with it. And then I was like, I can make this dish. I have all the ingredients at home. I then put it in the oven at about 350 degrees. I cooked it for about 30 minutes, give or take. I just cooked it really until it looked golden brown at the top and it was bubbling like this. I then added some breadcrumbs to the top. Not traditional, but it was a vibe. And then you're also supposed to wait for it to cool down before you go in. I did a lot of research on this dish and that's what literally everyone said. But I was like, I do not give a bleep because I was really hungry and it smelled so good. And F the rules, do what you want. Because who said I can't eat it right out the oven? Because I wanted to. And me putting it in my plate like so. Mm-hmm. And this is what I consider myself looking cute for you guys. I am just dancing and vibing and trying this dish for you guys. Just look at past me. She really enjoyed this dish. And look, there's a lot of it gone. This is so good. I literally went for seconds. My mom loves it too. She's never had this dish before. So good. For dinner, I'm making mushroom risotto. I boiled my brown rice halfway. I didn't have any risotto rice, so this is just me being resourceful. I then made some vegetable broth using this, and then I'm making this vegan butter and miso paste combination. I got inspired by Rainbow Plant Life, and it really does take it to another level. Trust me. Fair warning, this dish is very decadent because of the amount of vegan butter that I used, but it is definitely worth it but in a pan i got some extra virgin olive oil and my bella mushrooms that i've chopped up to go and i cooked that down until all the water evaporates i haven't added any of the spices just yet i then add in some of the vegan butter miso paste combination and i cook that in and then i add in some salt some pepper and some italian seasoning don't you dare wash out your pan okay because all the flavor at the bottom is what's going to make this dish go to the next level. So I am cooking down some onion and some garlic until it gets translucent. And then I'm adding in the brown rice from earlier. Um, essentially, you would just throw the risotto rice in there. You wouldn't have to cook it beforehand because it just cooks really fast. But brown rice takes about like 40 minutes to cook. And this is how we can make this dish work. And then I just kind of just toss it around before I add in the next ingredient. I add in about like half a cup of white wine. This really just makes this dish super rich. 
I feel like this dish is so famous because of all the time and labor it takes into making this dish. You really can't walk away from it. You need to stand by it and really just put your all into it because if you walk away, the dish will be ruined. So you have to stand there and you have to ladle in the vegetable broth that we made earlier, little by little until it evaporates. And then you repeat the step over and over again until it is cooked perfectly. And it's so worth it, it's so worth it. It's just the most divine decadent dish, trust me on this. My mushroom shrank so much because all the water got cooked out of it. But I add that in with the rest of the vegan butter mixture that I made earlier. And then add in some nutritional yeast, some salt and pepper, and I mix that through until it is just absolutely perfect and gorgeous. And then I serve it all up in this bowl and it's just divine, y'all. Okay. So I've had a really good day of food. This risotto is better than I thought it was gonna be. Like I knew it was gonna be good, but like, damn. Normally, like that moussaka would be my dinner as well. But for today, I just wanted to show you guys like three meal ideas and that's honestly gonna be what I'm gonna eat tomorrow. So I don't even have to cook tomorrow and I can just focus on other stuff, which is good for me. Um, my mom was really impressed by both the dishes I made, the um, moussaka and the risotto. Like she's taking some for lunch tomorrow and she's not vegan and she was really impressed by it. So that's saying a lot. Mm. Like the flavors are so rich and so deep. Like I highly recommend it. And then of course I have like a nice glass of wine. So perfect, like good combo. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night. Um, soon I'm gonna do a morning and nighttime routine. I know those are so typical, but I like to film them. I would show you like the rest of my night, but this video will get too long. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching. God bless you guys. And hopefully you enjoy these meals too. And I'm gonna have the, um, I'm going to link the recipes on my um, blog. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So, yeah. And also check out my website too. The link is in the bio. And God bless you guys. Peace out. <laughs>